this video contains an exercise on usage variance. So we have this company that produces product A and the standard cost to produce one unit of direct material it takes $150. In order to produce one unit, the company uses 15 grams at $10 per gram. So 15 times 10 is 150 standard cost for direct material. In January, there was a production in which the company produced 15 units of product A and it actually costed $1,500 to produce 50 units in which 125 grams were used of direct material. So we need to calculate the usage variance for direct material. So let's get started. In order to calculate the usage variance, let's look at what the 15 units should have used in terms of grams. So according to the standard costing, in order to produce one unit, it takes 15 grams. And in January, they produce 15 units. So what we would do is calculate the standard usage. So take 15 units times 15 grams because it takes one unit to produce 15 grams. So take and they produce 15 units. So 15 times 15 grams. So it gives 225 grams. What this means is that the company should have used 225 grams to produce 15 units. But instead, the company produced 15 units by using only 125 grams right here. This means the company actually used less grams than it should have used Therefore, the difference between the 225 and 125 is 100 grams. So the usage variance is 100 grams. But we need to convert the grams into dollar. And we know that the cost is $10 per gram, standard cost. So take 100 grams right here. And you multiply the $10 per gram to get a $1,000 usage variance. To learn more, subscribe to Conning Notes on YouTube.com.